Hello everyone, this is the Tarot Queen Jamila and I'm here to do a weekly mini love forecast for the Leo. Alright, so this is going to be a really quick reading. It'll be a five card spread um, for the Leos out there. Um, it's going to be starting today and ending May the 18th, 2016. Alright, so we're going to be looking at what's going on presently for you. And we'll look and see what's going on in the past that you need to consider. And then also what's coming up in the future. And then um, a possibility in the future. You know, what you can expect. Okay, so the high priestess flipped over. So she's going to kind of be the facilitator of this reading. Um, she symbolizes a lot of sexual energy, Leo. And it makes sense. It really it does because Leos are very passionate people. Um, very fertile sexual energy. All right. So this is fresh energy. <laughs> this is a, a woman that, uh, to be honest with you, it can it symbolizes a woman that a man wants really bad <laughs> is what it symbolizes. All right. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and throw out the cards. This reading may or may not resonate with you. Um, whether or not it does or not, I always recommend a personalized, more in-depth reading. Okay? All right, Leos. Currently, I, I keep getting all these literal people coming up currently. So when I see that, I can see... Um, either a person, you know, or you. So this is, you know, this could either be the person that you're with or it could be someone you're going to meet. Whatever the case is, the Queen of Wands, again, she is a very, you know, fertile, um, rich person. Um, very noble, believes in honor and integrity. Okay, so this is a really good card to get. You know, getting this card in the current position is showing that some of you either already have someone in your life um, or you're going to meet somebody. So um, this is a really good card to get. <clears throat> Looking in the past, you got the Magician. This is a major arcana. This is you using um, all of the elements, including your own spirit, to manifest what you want. Okay, so you've been doing a lot of manifestation work. What's crossing you in the past is the five of swords. So this is love competition trying to mess up your perception. So this could either be an ex trying to mess up your perception of self. Okay, or this could be competitors. So if you're single, this is an ex, you know, trying to cause conflict. If you are currently involved, these are competitors male or female and they're really trying to mess up the perception so when i see the five of swords this is people playing mind games okay um now in the future leo you do have the nine of cups so this is a beautiful card so your manifestation is working okay the nine of cups is about complete fulfilled you know feeling complete feeling fulfilled you know, being able to be generous, having pleasure and, and satisfaction. Um, so I definitely do see that coming up for you for the entire week. Now, um, this is the card of wishes. This is you using some sort of, you know, higher energy. You know, I mean, you got three very spiritual cards in your reading. Actually, all of them are very spiritual. But the high priestess, the magician, and what's crossing you in the future is the tower. Now, judging by the other cards, the tower card is a good card, okay? Um, because you got the nine of cups. I want to talk about the nine of cups for a minute. Hold on a second. Because there's something about this card I'm going to tell you. 
this is oh my goodness if you look at the illustration of the nine of cups this is a very pleasurable sweet love romance so if you're already involved with someone your wish is going to come true and if you're not then i can see this person coming in especially with this queen of wands okay being that it's a wands it can definitely mean a man a man that's ready to make a baby okay because the wands is a masculine card so if you're a woman listening to this reading, then you definitely got somebody in your life, okay? I don't really see a lot of single Leos out there, but if you are, you're not single. You just haven't connected with that person yet. But this is the wish card. This is a good omen for the future. Now, the tower card, okay? This is another very good card, but it depends on the outer line cards. This is about change, and whether or not it's going to be changed for the better, I see it being changed for the better, okay? I see the end of something and the end of some sort of old way of doing things and the beginning of something new. So you got to break down, you know, the, um, you have to basically break it down. You know what I'm saying? And it's also, now, if you're single though, Um, I can see that that period of whatever you were going through, I can see that is ending. Okay, um, you're gonna you're gonna end the rela the relationship that you have with your past is what I'm saying. Whatever it was in the past that caused this Five of Swords to come up, um, it's important to communicate clearly. Okay, during this time. So the communication needs to be clear. Okay, so for some of you Leos, it could possibly mean that a bad relationship is about to end. Um, if you're in a bad relationship, that's not making you happy. Okay, if it's not what you want, if it's not making your partner happy, you know. Um, but all in all, the Tower card, you know, in in my opinion, with the surrounding cards. You know, some people will look up their own cards and, you know, they'll draw up their own conclusions. Um, they get scared of the tower because the tower card shows that something is going on. There was some, there's going to be some sort of dramatic change. Um, I don't see it as being destruction, loss, or ruin. I just see it as being a dramatic change. Okay, um, and it's also it also indicates a new start. Okay, um, if you, again if you want a more personalized reading, the link to my website is in the video description box. Make sure that you thumbs up this video. Make sure that you subscribe, and then also make sure that you enter my three thousand subscriber giveaway. All right, thank you so much for listening, Leo. Have a great week.